Welcome everyone to my vlog. Yes, we are doing a vlog today. Normally you guys get to see my debating and debunking videos and even some of my memes. But I figured it'd be time for a nice little vlog. I've done a vlog before on here, but um, anyways, let me know what you think down in the comments. What's your favorite food? Are you an omnivore or are you vegan? And what are what do you feel the benefits are? So if you feel you're a vegan for a certain reason, you know, that would uh, be nice to know. Or if you feel you're an omnivore for a certain reason, that's also nice to know. 84% of people that are vegan go back to eating meat. Now that I know for sure from looking online. Basically, it's an estimation. But yeah, the majority of people that do go vegan, they don't really last as a vegan. Now, I'm not saying that you can't go vegan. You know, I'm not trying to discourage you. Um, I'm just saying, if you look on online, you can you can look it up. That's the that's the estimated number, the percent. We don't know the exact number of people, but we know that eighty four percent is the estimated percent. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to discourage people. I mean, if you want to go vegan, that's up to you. It's your choice. I'm not one to try to discourage people. Uh, for me, I would just rather be omnivore because I love eating meat. And it makes me more full. Now for me, meat, it makes me more full. Because it's really hard to get filled up on vegetables. So a lot of people will say, yes, it is, it is expensive trying to go vegan. Now a lot of companies, vegan companies that make uh, fortified vegan food, charge an outrageous price. Oh, because we're doing this for veganism. No, They're, a price should not be a reason. Okay, if you are really doing this to benefit veganism, your prices would be much cheaper on fortified food. That's why a lot of people are so discouraged. And to be honest, I don't really want to spend hours trying to boil something down. So if people say, well, just buy them in the rawest form and make your own version. Yeah, yeah, that's so time consuming right there for people that don't have time to spend hours in the kitchen trying to prepare food. Okay, yes, you can boil beans. You can get that done. You could buy a can of beans or whatever. Um, but trying to put everything together to try to make it a balanced meal is really, really putting too much work into something that you could just, oh, take a bite of steak and then eat a balanced diet, you know? You don't need to consume a ton of meat. You just need enough that'll help you to stay full so you're not hungry an hour later. Trust me. You you guys know what it's like eating a bowl of rice? Like, I used to love that. I used to, like, heat up some rice in a bowl and um, put seasoning on it. You eat that, all of a sudden you're hungry an hour later and you're like, what? But yeah, I mean, it takes a lot of different seeds, nuts, and vegetables to try to make up for what you're not getting in meat. And then having to take supplements. But yeah, if you're willing to put that much time and effort into something just to have a balanced diet, then have at it. But yeah, people that do go vegan risk becoming anemic. I mean, and then having to take supplements, you know, it is scary. But, you know, there are benefits for people like uh, the amount of fiber intake, you know, because your body does need a lot of fiber. But then you're going to lack heme iron and 90% of what your body absorbs is actually heme iron. So... Trying to get non-heme iron is kind of risky because even people that take supplements, you're still at risk. Now, I'm not saying that there's no problems with meat. I mean, if you eat too much meat, that could be bad. You know, you could be at risk of a heart attack from clogged arteries. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's risk in, in both factors. So I was just say, you know, eat a balanced diet, you'll be okay. Um, you can still eat a lot of vegetables, you know, vegetables are good, but it's just consuming meat as well, you know? So I would speak to a nutritionist really, because I'm not a nutritionist, but I'm just telling you that there are benefits, but I'm not telling you, you can't go vegan. No, don't go vegan. I'm not going to be like that vegan teacher, you know, how she tells people you have to be vegan. I'm not going to try to tell you, you have to be omnivore. It's your choice, your body, your choice. And that's the same thing that I'm always going to believe. Um, I don't believe in forcing your beliefs upon anyone. 
My thing is debating and debunking vegans that try to push their beliefs onto other people. If you want to be vegan, that's fine. But don't push it onto others. But anyways, what benefits you? Whether you are a vegan or omnivore, what's your opinion? Let me know down in the comments. But anyways, I also want to talk about what's your favorite food. Also let me know about that. My favorite food, as you guys know, is turkey sandwiches, followed by Asian food. Now, I can cook all kinds of Asian meals. I love cooking. Uh, but yeah, turkey sandwiches, good old turkey sandwiches have always been my favorite. And not just any turkey sandwich. Deli sliced turkey meat and uh, organic bread. Yes, I love organic bread. Also, I got to have those big old fat sliced tomatoes on my sandwiches with mayo. No mustard, just mayo. I love it. And sometimes it's good to put chips on there. You guys know what I mean? Stack some like some kind of spicy Doritos, like uh, Flaming Hot Doritos. Uh, anything good and crunchy, you know, put that on the sandwich. And now you got a cool turkey, turkey and cheese with cheese. Turkey, cheese, tomato and chips. Oh my gosh, that's great. Now, I can cook a bunch of other foods other than Asian meals. It just happens to be my favorite. I can make uh, homemade pizza and everything. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I can make. You know, tacos is pretty much the easiest thing that anyone can make. Um, hamburgers. I like to make my own barbecue sauce with bacon. Kind of like a Western burger. Oh my gosh. Who loves double Western bacon cheeseburgers, right? Also... I have more to talk about, but if you've made it this far into the video, then take a look at this. This is called GPay. This is really cool. It's in early access. You guys should check it out, download it, download the app. You could basically send money to family and friends. And this is my scan code right here. But yes, that's all you do. Scan that code and you can send money to friends or family. It's really awesome. And no, I'm not sponsored by GPay. But anyways, yes, this is my scan code, and thank you very much. Now let's get back on track here. Also, it's really windy, so I do apologize if you can hear the wind. Do you guys enjoy cooking? And if you do, what's your favorite meal to cook? What do you have most fun cooking? For me, it's always fun cooking egg rolls. I always had a great time cooking egg rolls, and chow mein as well. Like, those are two really fun things to cook. Um... Everyone's got their own special way to make things. Um, I haven't made sushi in a while, but I really enjoy making sushi as well. Instead of using raw fish, you can actually use imitation crab. And that'll be a lot better too, because there's a lot of people that are allergic to shelled fish. So if you use imitation crab, that'll be a far better choice. And also, cream cheese will go good on it too. So cream cheese and imitation crab, great combination. But if you aren't allergic to shellfish, then you can go ahead and use real crab. And also, I like um, using soy sauce with uh, wasabi. Mix that together. Excellent for dipping sushi in. So anyways, that's kind of what I wanted to say about that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, how do you feel about your diet? I mean, are you happy with what you eat? That's another thing I wanted to say. And I'm not aiming this at any specific people at all. This could go with any kind of food. I mean, you should never be miserable. That's one thing I believe in strongly in. If it's a kind of food that makes you happy and you feel good eating that kind of food, then have at it. You know, as long as it's safe. For me, I'll sit down with like two double Western bacon cheeseburgers because I mean like you can never just eat one. <laughs> but uh, don't take my advice. <laughs> also, how do you feel about outdoor activities like hunting and fishing. How do you feel about that? Do you enjoy hunting and fishing? I mean, I like fishing and hunting myself, but to each their own. I mean, do you enjoy hunting and fishing? Um, do you like those kind of outdoor activities? Like, how does it make you feel? And if you're not okay with things like that, then that's fine. For me, it kind of saves on money, you know? And if it's an animal that you're hunting for meat and you decide, oh, you can keep the fur or whatever, um, you can also use that for clothing. So you've used the resources, not just for food, but now you've got clothing. Anyways, let us know down in the comments. 
and uh, get to know people down in the comments. Maybe you have a similar likes and dislikes, maybe that other people have, you know. It's a good way to get to know the people around you in the community. But anyways, that's all for now, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and remember to check out my secondary YouTube channel called xzodiac 85 x Mobile. So remember, you can find that on my homepage of my YouTube page. So remember to subscribe to that channel and check out some of my videos. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.